Shout out to Lift Kits for Less. They supplied the lift kit for this truck. Um, great company, awesome, quick shipping. Um, so you guys definitely check them out if you need a kit. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. As you guys can see, I've been busting my butt. Today's video, we're gonna be installing the six inch Pro Comp lift kit on the Tote Pig. Now, um, as a lot of you may or may not know, um, they don't technically make a lift kit for these two wheel drive Super Duty trucks. But uh, if you do a little research, the front end on the two wheel drive Super Duty trucks from, uh, I wanna say 99 to like, to 05, I think 05 was the last last year they stopped doing the uh, i beam suspension. But correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I'm sure someone will. Um, but they have the same front end as the excursions of the same years. So therefore, um, if you want to lift this two-wheel drive Super Duty truck, you will have to order a six-inch Pro Comp lift or Fabtech. They there's two brands that only the only two brands that make the a lift kit for these trucks. Um, it's Pro Comp and Fabtech. So um, what you would do is order a lift kit for a diesel excursion. Make sure it's diesel. Um, so you get the right load springs in the front. Um, so a diesel um, excursion of the same years and uh, that will fit the front end of the truck. Now, exception for the rear end. Rear, you will also have to order um, new U-bolts. The kit that, um, the U-bolts that come with the kit will not fit the um, bigger rear end or axle on the dually. Um, now, if you have a 250, I want to say it the axle is the same as the excursion, but I know for sure on a 350 um, dualies the axle is bigger. So you will have to get aftermarket um, U bolts. So uh, give you guys a sneak peek. I took the liberty of uh, myself and powder coated a few pieces of it. You see we got our springs there, um, our drop brackets um, for our radius arms, uh, sway bar drop brackets, and few other miscellaneous things uh, the color came out really good you guys will see it has a nice shine to it um, but the rest of the kit I left black because majority of it you will not see like these right here that drop it's another drop bracket in the front end uh, you really won't see those so I didn't bother powder coating those uh, there's our steering stabilizer here, and that's the U-bolts that come with the kit. We won't be using those. Really, uh, it looks like a really simple, straightforward kit. I'm hoping that I can get this installed real quick tonight um, because I have work in the morning. It's currently, I want to say 5, 5.30. So, um, yeah, I'm hoping I can get this kit on in maybe two, two and a half hours um, and have the truck back together at least the front end back together um this, uh, i'm gonna go ahead i had already jacked the truck up but i forgot to take measurements so i want to uh i want to take some measurements of the front end so we can see how much lift we actually get out of this kit now, I already jacked the truck up so it's not actually settled all the way down where it would normally be riding because you kind of can see, kind of looks almost level. It's a little little shorter than level, but um, it's higher than it normally sits. So we're gonna deduct maybe an inch or two on whatever we take on our measurement right here. So, got our tape measure. We're sitting right at, let's say, let's call it 36 inches in the front. And 39 inches in the rear. So we got a three inch difference from front to back. So let's hope that this kit gives us a true six inches. I think the truck will sit really, really nice um, if it gives us a true six inches of lift. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get this thing on and be done with this, guys. You can see 
my house looks a mess i have parts and stuff everywhere so uh yeah i'm trying to knock some of these projects out so i can get my house back to looking clean and normal so uh let me stop talking we're gonna get the truck jacked up put it on the put the two front jack stands under the uh subframe in the front and um yeah we're gonna start pulling stuff apart So you can see we got a lot pulled off. Um, I caught a lot over the time lapse and then a lot of I didn't catch. But we replaced the ball joints on this first knuckle on the driver's side. I'm gonna show you guys a few little tricks to doing that on the other one when we do that one. But what I'm about to do now is actually start putting on the brackets for the lift. Um, there's really four, four brackets that go for this lift. Pretty simple. I'm not gonna try to jinx myself. I'm not gonna say too much, but each eye beam gets a drop bracket in the center, one right there, one right there. And also each in the back gets a drop bracket here and then on the other side for each radius arm. So you see here, I have both radius arm drop brackets. In order to install these, you have to remove the factory ones. So they're not gonna bolt up in place with the factory ones. You have to actually unbolt the factory ones here and then install, reinstall the aftermark one back in this place using the factory hardware and a few um, new bolts that they give you in the kit. So that's exactly what I'm about to do now. Um, I'm just explaining this ahead of time so I don't have to explain as I go, if that makes any sense. Um, two tips when removing this lift kit or the factory stuff and putting on the new stuff. Um, you will have to get new coil bushings that go on the bottom you see i got these new ones right here i already put one on i will link the part number right here or put a picture here of the part number but this is exactly what you want to put on get right here it basically just slides around the cup and what it does is keep that metal from metal metal and metal rubbing right here so um definitely get that so you don't have any issues with noise or anything um also from removing the coil, you may need a few extensions to um, actually reach down in the coil all the way down to this bolt to just unloosen it. You don't have to take it all the way off. I see a lot of people actually take this thing off. You don't have to do that. Just loosen this bolt just a little bit so you can have some play with that cup right there and that coil will just slide right around it once you uh loosen that bolt up so that's two little tricks um two little things you will need to do also you may need to get a pitman arm puller um, i picked one up hopefully we'll be able to get it off because these things are a pain in the freaking butt um but we should be able to get it off hopefully fingers crossed on jinxes but yeah that's where we at so i'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this off i may also go ahead and put the radius on them, drop brackets here too it's just two bolts on each side and the bracket basically just bolts right back up to the factory location and then this bolts to the drop bracket real simple so um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that shout out to lift kits for less they supplied the lift kit for this truck um great company awesome quick shipping um so you guys definitely check them out if you need a kit um they also they always giving discounts and everything um, to make it worth buying a lift kit from them. Um, I have not seen anyone beat their pricing. They're, they have an eBay store as well, and as well as you can go on their actual online store and order, and you can get a discount either way. They're always running a 5% discount, and all, sometimes they, they'll even give you, like stack another discount on top of that if you ask them. Um, so definitely check them out, and uh, yeah, get your lift kits from them.
All right, guys, we are in the final stages of actually finishing the F-350, the Dooley's lift. Um, ran into a lot of issues that I didn't plan for, um, but excuse my camera. If you're seeing some weird stuff, um, I kind of cracked it, but entering the final stages, we're just about done, complete. Uh, we have to throw the coils in. You can see we got those sitting over there and see if I keep it from glaring so much. Um, <clears throat> so we got pretty much everything back in, got all our brackets in, braces, and torqued these to 105. Um, I may put a little more on them. We finally found us a drop pitman arm that fits this truck. Um, I'll explain that later. But we finally got one, thanks to four wheel parts that came in clutch. Got that in, sway bar, uh, drop brackets are in. <clears throat> I got to go pick up my um, sway bar from sandblasting, hopefully tomorrow. Um, but we got these brackets in, these are a pain in the butt, you guys already know. <clears throat> I'll explain a little more in detail on everything after we get pretty much everything back together. But So I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the coils back in and I'll, I'll probably actually put the shocks on at 12 as well. And then we'll put the truck down on its own weight. The last things we'll have to do is put in um, our steering here. We got new everything for that. And the steering stabilizer, we'll actually throw that in as well. So I'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna go ahead and put these coils back in and see if we can get this truck on the ground. guys it's been a process let me tell you but uh everything's done so far we're about to go and bring it drop it off to get the alignment i think it's pretty good it's dang near spot on to me if you ask me but we'll go ahead and bring it to get the alignment so when we put the new wheels and tires on it don't mess it you know it doesn't ruin those tires right away so we're gonna do that do some uh bring it back knock out some uh, last minute before we hit the road and then uh yeah i'll see you guys in daytona so 
stay tuned for the next video guys i'm going to be revealing the wheels for the dually and then the video after that we'll probably be doing an oil change as well as um a video with the wheels on the truck so uh you guys stay tuned for the videos coming up next and uh yeah continue to support the channel everyone have a great day